All right, so not a lot of videos on this quad because it's fairly new, so I figured I would create one. Uh, just got it yesterday via DHL. Came in about two days from China to Portland, Oregon. So very good shipping. Uh, all the items inside are packed very nicely. It's in a very small box, but packed very well. Plenty of bubble wrap. Extra protection. Uh, let's take a look at what we have here. Let's get this out of the kind of take a, a quick look at some of this while it's at work. Carbon fiber here looks pretty good. Uh, quality control on the aluminum doesn't look like it's machined all that well or like this one was dropped a little bit you can see it's kind of a ding there so there it's dented I'm not quite sure um, how stuff like that happens but I'm assuming it's just not really taking care of they make a part of throwing a bin make another part of throwing a bin it does seem like it's assembled fairly well Thickness of the carbon fiber. Hopefully, it's decent. Motor spins nice and free. There's LEDs on the bottom. I, I don't know if I caught that in the videos at all, but that's kind of a nice surprise. This plastic is what becomes the leg. It gets kind of sandwiched in, like so. It's kind of it's kind of a cool idea actually. It's a little springy. It doesn't weigh anything. It's really hard to Machining looks pretty good on these ones. So it's not dinged up at all. Huh? Eases these little micro you know, like Molex connectors for what I'm assuming is the signal to the ESC. <coughs> Excuse me. This one's got a little wear on the fiber just scuffed up a little some scratches on the aluminum but still overall pretty good I did already pre-check all the motors they all spin nice and free no sound of a, anything weird you know maybe this Molex must not be for the ESC connector because I think that's just the LEDs. The black and red. Hmm. Very interesting. I wonder how the signal for the ESCs is handled. Interesting. Oh, that did come in a bag. I took it out because I wanted to look at it. Just a tiny little brushless servo motor and a little pod with a camera in it. Kind of, this is honestly is the main reason I bought this is I just wanted to see how well this works and have a, a nice little single axis gimbal that you know if I don't continue to use it on this quad, maybe I can adapt it and use it on another quad. Very cool. Bag full of hardware, it doesn't look like there's going to be any extras. Kind of nice to give you these jumper cables. I've got a bunch of these um, for using with gyros and other things through the years, but it's very nice that it came with it. <coughs> Velcro strap, battery. This is the video transmitter. 
It's kind of a small, little lightweight antenna. I don't know if I'll use this one. I've got some other ones that are better quality build. It's not bad though. Soldering is clean. Is the video transmitter? I have to cut open the pins here. I just realized I'm not quite sure uh, who makes this or how to set the channel because uh, there's no paperwork that comes with this quad at all. So I will try to see if I have another one that has a similar setup and adjust the pins and it should work as long as I match another one. But you know, sometimes it's reverse, I'll just go right to left or left to right.